as Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And uh, we're coming at you with your basic Sorgonomics. And uh, hey, before I get into things, before we talk about, uh, I want to talk about company culture of all things. I know it's kind of kishy in this online self helpy kind of world, I guess. But uh, be sure to check out, I'm going to have a link over on Sorgatron.com, SorgatronMedia.com for a new workshop coming up in our educational series with Sidekick Media Services. Uh, Katie Dudas uh, at Katie Dudas on the Twitter is going to step us through some Insta content strategies, uh, talking about uh, some Snapchat, some Periscope, and being the one that got stuck in an elevator uh, for an hour and a half with Periscope uh, as her buddy, uh, making a lot of new friends. I think she's kind of the expert in that. So I, I want to talk about company culture, and it's uh, so kind of the, this is a concept that was dawning on me uh, as I was still uh, kind of at a job and kind of figuring out, you know, uh, you know, starting to realize something ain't right here. So I, for me, something isn't right for me here. I need to go do something else. And just to put it in a nutshell, and I started reading books like uh, like Zappos, the Zappos book, uh, where, where, where Tony Shea, I believe, is his name. Uh, to, you know, of course, they got bought by Amazon, but they're famously the ones that uh, you know you, you go uh, through the hiring process, and at a certain point, they'll offer you. I think it was about a thousand bucks to not take the job because there's like, well, if you'd rather have a thousand bucks than this job, you walk away. And when we talk about company culture, it's not just like. Hey, this is this company has a ping pong table. You know what I mean? Uh, this company has this. You know, uh, you know, it's it is the environment. It is certainly the environment, and and it's creating an environment, uh, especially. Oh, geez, I mean, so many examples. Uh, I I just had a conversation with a with a, a great dude that's over at uh, Work Hard, and he was telling me he worked for a certain big, 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 big company that makes four wheel devices um, that you ride around in, <clears throat> and. Um, that company culture was, you know, laptop guy right on the other side of the table, laptop up against yours, uh, and you sat there and you did your stuff all day, and 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 how he loved it, he loved it, uh, but it was very stressful. He loved the work though, and I, and and that's where I found myself at a certain point. I loved the work that I did, I just didn't like the environment I had to do it in. Um, so I was trying to find new environments to do that work, and I have this environment. I have. I have, um, you know, clients that I love working with, you know, I, I, there isn't a client that I have right now that I, I don't like getting a call from. And that's awesome. You know, I could use a couple more clients, but, um, it, it's great. Uh, but, but, and again, but, but it's, but also we're trying to build something a little bigger than just me. We're trying to be a little bigger than Sorgatron Media, hence the spinouts that we have going on with Psychic Media Services and uh, IndieWrestling.us. Um, and I see so many people, um, a lot of times in their typical day jobs, of course, but not just that, just uh, also in smaller work groups, uh, trying to do uh, startups and stuff. And... One thing as I was going through and I was, you know, you know, say reading this book and looking at other things, I just kind of look, if you can look around and kind of see kind of the markings of, of a bad environment, you know, um, um, you know, is there, is there a lot of blame going around? You know, is there, and, and, and really look at your, your boss and how they deal with things, look at their boss and how they deal with things. And that trickles down. That influences how everybody reacts. They're like, well, if, if that guy doesn't care about, this aspect of what's going on around here, then why do I care about this aspect of what go, what's going on around here? And it just becomes this toxic kind of thing. Or if they allow other employees that are toxic to the environment, um, there's a there, oh, there's one thing I was reading through that 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 called them I think zombies, like employee zombies or something like that. The person that gets hired and and. They do good enough that they can't get fired, but but they're 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 you know just just kind of crap on the situation for everybody else, and then that doesn't get worked out for several months, and then you have to go hire the person. It just costs the company who knows how much money uh, in inefficiencies and stuff. Um, I think in certain aspects, some companies are just kind of putting throwing bodies at a situation too. Maybe they have to, you know. 
and and how did they get to that situation? And of course, again, there's some more technical ones where yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. But uh, but you know, we're talking about hey, we're, you know, mostly we're talking about like hey, you you you'll want to do something you want to do, right? Um, I know you know, for instance, I I I catch wind of a lot of friends in, in design firms and advertising. And uh, that's a stressful, stressful thing. And that's what I was targeting at first, was doing like web design in a firm like that, um, in, in my mind. And now I look at something like that. The, 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 the time that I, I uh, uh, did an interview for somebody with a, 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 a good interview, a good, uh, they're not even downtown anymore, I don't think. And I stared across and I saw the guy with the bags of, the bags under his eyes. And I'm just like, and he was like a flash designer. <laughs> yeah, that's how long ago it was. Um, and that was his title. Um, you know, that was a, I don't care if you got a coffee bar when I walked in. I don't think I want to work here. I was kind of okay that they didn't call me back. You know, I was really, really, really jonesing to get on to something new. And to be honest, I probably would have said yes just to move on. But man, I kind of, knew how the situation was going to go once I got there. Um, and, and I think that's, you know, a, you know, having to, uh, work late because of the stress of the job and the, and the demands of it. Um, if they're not compounded with a, this is work I like to do. It's kind of okay that I'm sticking around late. So I'd be doing it anyways. That's kind of where I'm at with things, you know? Um, yeah, I do some late nights with this stuff, but I like that. I was doing it anyways after hours of my day job. So so it kind of works. And you need to find that sweet spot to whatever that thing is, right? Um, but that's a whole other discussion. So what do you do if you're on top? Um, we actually uh, moved everybody over to Slack, this messaging service, uh, kind of more focused than having everybody on Facebook Messenger, Google, and, and they're filling... Uh, the thing with gifts, and, and and then we lose the actual important conversation. Because I pop into somebody just see a bunch of gifts. I miss that somebody asked an important question um, up above. And I'm not going to think to look back there. Who does, right? So I've been able to bring people together uh, on there, kind of, you know, slice slice the pie a little bit, and actually get some people to that, that work in, say, videography over here with us with the wrestling stuff, and uh, have them now start talking with people over here that I'm working with in other projects and other companies and our foundations. Um, and, and I can bring those guys together a little easier. And then uh, they've been introduced and then we go have lunch around the project because I had kind of tacked on this guy over here and this guy over here to a project. And I'm just like, okay, both of you guys are really important to this. Let's get you together, you know, and it's, it facilitates that. Uh, facilitates that collaboration. I try to get on there, and 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 um, uh, one thing I've been doing, I have a props channel over on there. And anytime somebody uh, leaves an iTunes comment or sends an email in, um, just so you can understand, because I deal a lot with customer service with IndieWrestling.us, um, and, and I get a lot of good vibes on that. So then I share that over to the group with the people helping me with IndieWrestling.us. Uh, you know, it. it, it just it puts that positivity out there. Be like, hey guys, look, look, look what came across. You know, some people think we're doing some cool stuff. It reinforces what we're doing and that it's growing, and that there are people out there influenced by it, and and that motivates these guys to do it. Um, one thing I'm going to do here at the end of the year, uh, I'm expecting to is, is again, a lot of these guys aren't on the payroll. A lot of these guys are just people we do podcasts with that we're collaborating with to create things. And we're hoping that all becomes on a payroll, of course. Um, but we're, you know, kind of putting the uh, uh, product before the, 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 the financials at a certain point here, right? Because again, this is all stuff we'd be doing anyways, if, if this wasn't a business, right? It's just kind of all kind of latching in together. But uh, I think I want to sit down uh, with everybody and kind of do a performance review, you know, kind of get an idea of, listen, right? Man, this is where you're good at. You know, you're doing awesome with this show. You're doing awesome with this content. You're doing awesome with this. Because in my mind, and I've talked about this with a couple of our colleagues that we're partnering with now, you know, in my mind, I, I, I want to get a point. The dream is we get to the point where I can hire all my friends to do the things like they're doing now and then some and not have to be, you know, working at jobs that they don't like and doing this as the side gig. You know, the, 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 the dream is that side gig becomes a primary gig or at least like a half and half gig, you know, um, and I think 
I don't have anybody on my my group that I think is dead weight. And I hope I express that enough. I know I, I know I've had to say that more directly to some people the last couple of days. Um, but if you're in my Slack and you're on my shows, then or I asked you to be on my shows, I think you're important. And I think you're a big part and can contribute to a lot of these things. And that we could do something cool together. And that's the kind of environment that I'm kind of pro- I'm trying to project. I hope that one day, that toxic word I hate saying if you listen to the show, uh, when this becomes a big multinational industry that we're doing here at Sorgatron Media, <laughs> you'll still think that. And we'll still keep that. And... Everybody will have uh, a contribution, and uh, that'll be cool. And it's how my company culture, I hope, works out. And I hope that's what I'm spreading uh, through all of our collaborators over here. Tell me about your company culture. Is it toxic to you? What do you think? At Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out everything at Sorgatron.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.